Thank you. First, welcome to Montreal. We are very excited to have you all here for this first summer school um, for ML in Drug Discovery. Many of you already know me as the host of the M2D2 talk series, which we organize to um, yeah, democratize AI in drug discovery. And this school is really a continuation of this talk uh, series. Um, we are very, very excited to have all of you here today uh, for two weeks. Um, and at the beginning, like we didn't hope we have so many people. We opened the registration over a week. It was sold out, so we had to open more space. So we are very, very glad and excited to have all of you here today. So the program for this week, we have, give me a second, if this is cooperating. Okay. For this week, we have three days of the summer school. And next week, we also have two days. And there's more event next week. For this first week, today we'll be kind of getting to the fundamentals um, uh, ligand based drug discovery. Next week, we'll be mostly focused on structure based drug discovery using mach machine learning techniques. And the last week on Friday, we'll be generative models. Um, And next week, there are two more days of the summer school where we'll be going over target deconvolution and how to use machine learning to figure out what target you are going after, figure out mechanisms of actions of the, of the different drugs. We also be um, exploring the, the frontier. So many things regarding LLM protein design, open source initiative, and more importantly, like, oh, Nonetheless, the ethical concern and biases we should all be aware of when developing this kind of method in, in drug discovery. So before we start today, I just want to remind everyone that we will, all the talk during this series are focused on small molecule drug discovery. So uh, there'll be a lot of Think about small molecule uh, on ligand-based small, small molecule and structure-based small molecule. We won't be touching so much on protein design, antibodies, and other kind of topics. Uh, but if you are interested in any of those, please hit me up, and I will set up set you up with some great resources that we can go over uh, beyond the summer school. Um, yeah. I will let now Johnny kind of walk you through some of the logistics stuff that you need to know to navigate the area, navigate the school over the next few days. Thank you so much again, and welcome to Montreal. All right, thank you, Prudencio. Um, welcome everybody to the summer school. My name is Johnny, and I've been working really closely with Prudencio to organize the summer school. It's the first time we're doing something like this in Montreal, so we hope you all enjoy the, the programming. Um, just to give a quick overview of what everyone can expect over the next uh, week and a half, almost two weeks with us in Montreal. So the first five days will be scheduled classes um, from the 12th to the 18th, and that will be happening in this building here at Centrophy. Next week on the 19th, we'll be doing a single day conference, the Molecular Machine Learning Conference. Um, that is happening at Mila in the Agora, which is a large theater space that they have. Um, and afterwards from the conference, we'll be returning back to Centrophy for the last two days of the programming. And that's where we're going to be doing our, our hackathon. Um, and we'll share more details about how the hackathon will be organized uh, very shortly. But I just want to say a quick note about the conference uh, happening on the 19th is um, everyone here who is registered for the summer school automatically has a pass that can allow you to access the conference. Um, we'll have a great lineup of speakers there at the conference, as well as over 40 posters that are being presented by uh, various folks across academia and industry. So it should be uh, an awesome day of, of talks and research in the field. Um, 
A quick note to our sponsors and organizers. Uh, there's a lot of work going into putting together the summer school, and it would not have been, it, it would not have been possible without the support um, of some of the uh, logos and companies that you see on the screen. Um, so if you see anyone from those organizations here, uh, go up and say hi, and you know get to learn more about what they're they're working on. Um, of course, this would also not be possible without some of the people behind the logistics that are organizing, you know, everything that you're seeing here today. There are a few people who are, who are not on the slides. I just want to say thank you to uh, Matt and Clara, the Centrifuge staff, um, also the staff at Petit Man, who's our catering service. There's lots of snacks, coffee and water out in the back. And a uh, huge thank you to Marina as well, who is there uh, taking videos in the back. So. Uh, it was a group effort. Um, a few last logistical notes. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen frequent emails from me that are linking you to the private space that is available on Portal. This is where we are going to be aggregating all of our summer school resources uh, throughout the, the next week and a half. So there's a discussion board on there for you to ask any general questions that you might have around programming or other logistical questions. Uh, myself or one of the other organizers will always be available to answer questions online. Um, you will also be able to access some of the lecture and lab resources. So we've recently added this space. Um, our goal is to definitely make the slides available to everyone. We'll do our best to make sure that the recordings are there as well, but that's something that will likely not come immediately after the summer school. Um, but you'll see there on the on the top card, there's a lecture and lab resources. Um, and each day for each talk, there's a separate card. And you'll be able to click into that. And there'll be a comment section where you can ask any follow up questions. And we'll do our best to make sure that your questions get answered. But each speaker only has an hour. So uh, we might not be able to get to everyone's questions in that time. So that's your space to ask follow up questions, um, to ask general questions about logistics. But you can also see a list of all of the summer school participants. So you can you know, reach out to the other folks who are part of the, the cohort with you here this week um, and connect with them as well. Uh, if you haven't done so already, that's the QR code that will take you directly to the space. Um, you will also probably find a link to the space uh, in some of the previous emails that I've sent. And quick notes on logistics before we get started. Um, so I'm assuming a lot of people have connected already to the Wi-Fi. It's Centrafi. That's the public guest access. Uh, we have bathrooms all outside behind the registration desk as well as on the corners. We have access to a nice terrace upstairs, which you can see in the photo. Obviously, it's not going to fit everyone in this room. So please, let's not all rush up there at once. Uh, but it is a nice spot for, you know, if you need to take a call or you have a break um, or lunch, uh, it's, you know, nice sunny weather in, in Montreal, so it'll be a great spot to hang out. Um, I did also send an email to help everyone here understand a little bit about Old Port and the area that we're in. There's plenty of lunch options and really awesome uh, areas to check out in this area. It's a prime spot in Montreal, so if you're looking for a spot to go for lunch, Go back to the email or check the space on portal. I've left a few recommendations as well. Um, all of the cups that everyone is using for water, for coffee, those are compostable. So please do not throw them in the garbage. Uh, we have a, we will have a videography crew coming in to take videos and photos of the summer school. And we will be using that for a recap video, but also promoting hopefully next year's programming as well. So if you do not want to be recorded or participate in that, there are these yellow stickers or bright stickers that you can find at the registration desk. If you put that on your badge, we will make sure that you are not involved in any of those videos. Um, and finally, the QR code here takes you to the schedule of not only today, but the entire rest of the summer school programming. Um, and that's available on the website as well. Uh, and of course, you can always come find myself or Prudencia. We'll be here throughout the entire week in a bit. Um, so if you have questions, please come and find us. And uh, we'll start off the week with a quick icebreaker. So if everyone wants to scan the QR code, we're going to do a fun survey to get a quick sense of uh, everyone's background, where are you coming from, what are you interested in, and it'll be nice to just get a better understanding of the entire crowd that is here. So I'll I'll give a few seconds for everyone to scan 
the QR code. It'll take you to um, a website called Menti, which will have to enter in this code and we'll do a, a fun survey. All right. Um, okay, everyone already filled in some responses. Is anyone not on the website yet or is having trouble accessing it? Okay, I see a hand raised. I see two hands raised. Yes, the code is on the top, 2540-6046. And the website is menti.com. All right, so I'll leave 30 seconds left for those who have not left an answer yet. But let's get a quick sense of what everyone's background is heading into the summer school. Okay, it's being a lot of machine learning, computer science, drug discovery, pretty relevant for the summer school, so that's great. <laughs> uh, we'll do the, let's do the next question. Um, what's your affiliation? So how many are from industry, from academia, maybe a bit of both? We'll put a minute up on the clock. Cool. All right, a good chunk of folks from academia, a bit of both, some industry. Um, how many of you already work at the intersection of machine learning and drug discovery? Are you completely new to the field? Is it something that you're actively working in? Uh, maybe not as much? Okay, that's good to see. A good mix of people who are already in the field and some new folks as well. All right. Um, how do you feel about machine learning for drug discovery? Let's, let's see where this goes on the graph. Okay, it's... It's getting there. I'm not sure what's happening with the graph, unless everyone is pressing the exact same numbers. Uh, it is not rigged, I promise you that. <laughs> if it was rigged, it'd be fully impact, zero hype. Uh, all right, uh, fun questions. Where did everyone travel from? It'd be nice to see how many are from Montreal. <laughs> is it working? There's no option? Okay. We'll skip this question. And we'll do the most important question. Uh, have you tried poutine yet?
Okay, for the folks who haven't tried poutine, uh, come find me and I'll give you a recommendation. Um, if you have any, any final questions, feel free to throw them up on the slide. Um, or you could come and find myself or Prudencio or leave your questions directly on the discussion space on Portal. Uh, but I'll bring Prudencio back up on the stage to introduce our first speaker. Thanks, everyone.